And in this video, we're going to learn how to use ClickHouse's IP tree dictionary. So let's launch ClickHouse, and then we're going to describe the geo IP parquet file that I've got on my disk. So you can see we've got five columns. We've got CIDR, so that's classless interdomain routing. So this is a way of describing subnetworks. We've then got a latitude, a longitude, a country code, and a place. Let's write a query to get back just one row from that parquet file. So you can see it comes back. Uh, the CIDR here actually only defines a range of two IP addresses. So it's 117.219.71.248, and it goes up to 117.219.71.249. But there are different entries in here that have bigger ranges of IPs. You can then also see the country codes. It's in India, and we've got the latitude, the longitude, and then the place name as well. Let's import this data into ClickHouse. We're going to create a table called GOIP. We'll order it by CIDR, and then we're going to select the data from the GOIP.parquet file. And this will take just under a second to load all the records. We can write a select query to get 10 of the records from the GOIP table, and you can see it comes back. You can see we've got a variety of different CIDRs, the latitudes, the longitudes, some different countries. We've got uh, one from Australia, one from China, a, a lot of ones from Japan. Now, this is where the IP tree dictionary comes into things. So we'd use an IP tree dictionary if we're building an application where we want to find the subnetwork to which an IP address belongs and then return some metadata for that subnetwork. So we're going to create a dictionary. We're going to call it IP tree and then we're going to pass in CIDR, the latitude, the longitude, the country code and the place. The primary key for this Dictionary is going to be the CIDR, so that's what we're going to, where we're going to be looking up uh, any IPs. We're going to be using into, we're going to be looking it up into that subnetwork. We then need to specify a source. Now we're going to say it's a ClickHouse table called GeoIP, but this could also be a file, an HTTP endpoint, or it could actually be a table from another database. And then after that, we need to specify the layout, and this is important. It needs to be IP tree, and then we can choose to specify a lifetime that the dictionary is going to live in memory. Once we've done that, we can then write a query to query the dictionary. So we use the dict get function. We'll say, what's the name of your dictionary? So IP tree. What do you want to get back? So country code. What's going to be the input value? So we'll, we'll do the IP 1.0.2.1. And we're going to cast it to IPv4, and then we'll get back the result. So the first time that you run this, it needs to load the dictionary into memory. And so we'll speed it up a little bit, but you can see it takes just over six seconds to give the result. If we run that exact one again, you can see it takes barely a fragment of a second the second time. We don't only have to return one field. We can actually return a tuple of values if we want. So we can get the country code and the place and the longitude and the latitude if we'd like to do that. And you can see now it comes back with all those different bits of metadata. I'm going to wrap this into a function. So let's just remove the location and then we'll go up to the top. We're going to say create or replace function get location. And then we're going to pass in the IP as a parameter. And then we'll just replace that hard coded IP down there with the variable or parameter IP. And now we can have a look at all the different ways that we can call the function. So we can do it with an IPv4 address. We can also choose to create a hex value. So this is the same IP up there, but in, in hex. And then we can convert it into a uint32, and we can pass that in. We can use an IPv4 mapped IPv6 address. So this is a different location, but in IPv6 format. If our dictionary had IPv6 addresses, we could also use that, but we've actually only got IPv4 ones. So that's why we're doing the at the IPv4 mapped IPv6 address. And then we can also choose, instead of having it in IPv6, uh, casting it to IPv6, we can put it into the fixed string format. And if we run that query, you can see it comes back. The first two entries are from New York, and then the last two ones are near, <laughs> near where I live in the UK. So this is only one of the dictionary layouts supported by ClickHouse. Check out this video up here to learn about another one, which is the Polygon Dictionary for Geospatial Data.